Hi guys, so uh, this week and next week we are going to talk about biomes. Okay, what is a biome? A biome is a major region that is characterized by its climate, soil, dominant plants, which means basically what plants are found in that specific biome, animals that live there, and any other organisms such as plants or other living cells that live there. A biome is the big, big category made up of many individual ecosystems. An example of one biome is the Arctic tundra. It's extremely cold. I'm not going to read you the specific facts, like how cold it gets. Um, You guys can read it on your own. The Arctic tundra is located in the Northern Hemisphere. Hopefully you guys know. We are located in the Northern Hemisphere too. It circles the North Pole and extends all the way down south to the Boreal Forest. You guys can read that on your own, specific wildlife found in the tundra. Some beautiful plants found in the tundra that we would not have here. Another type of biome are the grasslands. Grasslands are big open spaces covered with many types of grasses, very few trees there. Many grasslands have turned into farming land because of the decaying dead grasses that make for very fertile soil. Crops do grow very well here. They can be found on every continent except Antarctica. Temperatures varies according to its location. Uh, Closer to the equator, equator, the hotter they are. You guys can read all this on your own. Some pictures of animals found in the grassland. Some plants. Another type of biome is the temperate deciduous forest. It describes a type of forest trees that shed their leaves during the cold months of the year and then regrow new leaves in spring. Does this sound familiar? Does this sound like the biome that we live in? Major characteristics of this biome is that it has four distinct seasons. Sometimes good old Ohio goes through the seasons in one weekend, doesn't it? map of the location. General characteristics. Temperature changes drastically from season to season. Again, I'm not going to read every fact for you. This is what we talked about. Animal adaptations in this specific biome. Migration, hibernation, food storage, maybe they have thick fur, camouflage. Another type of biome is pronounced not taiga, taiga. Sounds like tiger, but it's taiga. It is our largest land biome covering up to 27% of Earth's surface. The largest taiga biome is in Canada and Russia. It has very long and cold winters with heavy snowfall. Summers are very short in taiga, and they are cool in temperature with lots of rain. Pictures of plant life found in the taiga. Animals you will see, beer el- bears, elk, moose, wolves, porcupine, owls, and woodpeckers. Another type of biome is the, not dessert, desert. Every continent has deserts. The largest deserts are found in Northern Africa and all the way down to Southwest Asia. A large part of Western Australia is also a desert. Typically, its climate is extremely hot during the day and very cool at night. Does not get a lot of rain. It's pretty windy. Rain is unpredictable, very dry and rocky. We all know the desert is known for its beautiful cactus. Some animals you'll see are camels, jackrabbits, antelope. And the rainforest is another type of biome. It is Earth's oldest ecosystem. 
the rainforest has various layers that are listed to the right. Four layers, emergent, canopy, understory, and forest floor. Rainforests are hot, hot, hot. The rainforests are found near the equator. The temperature stays hot all year. It actually never freezes. So who lives there? 30 million species of plant and animals. Half of the world's animals live in the rainforest. Beautiful animals you'll see there. And I will share this with you guys so you can kind of read through the fun facts that I presented. Um, and we'll definitely keep talking about biomes. So keep up on your PowerPoint presentations, taking notes, and talk to you soon.